Hey everybody on YouTube. This is my result of trying to grow cantaloupe seeds, honey rock cantaloupe seeds, on a wet paper towel on top of a styrofoam plate inside a Ziploc bag. And after six days, I, uh, they had sp sprouted really well. I had about four to six inches of uh, root growth. And then right, in, uh, I planted, I put these in the bag like this on April 15th, 2012. It is now April 28, 2012. So 13 days later, and look what I got here. Now I am going to plant what I can of these today. So I don't want to take these out unless I'm going to plant them. Because once I take them out, I ain't going to like trying to put them back in the bag. So let me show you what I did here. Oh, by the way, once they start sprouting these green leaves, I unzipped a Ziploc bag, opened it up like this, and then closed it and zipped it up halfway. Not all the way. Hope, hopefully letting this breathe a little bit. Now look at all that, okay? Now, I want to show you something else as well. I love this method. I believe I'm going to do this method for all of them. Because if I don't rip the roots off of here, I want you to see something. Look at that. Look how long that is. Can you see how long that is? Okay, I'm going to just move this plate out of the way and put this on top of a Ziploc bag. I want to show you something. By the way, there I count last, my last count, I lost count and I had 70 seeds. Over half of them sprouted. Probably more than that. I just never bothered counting because why do I care? <laughs> anyway, what I want to show you is this. Those expanding Jiffy peat pellet things, I have one here to show you as an example. The reason why I don't want to use those, except for the tiny seeds. Now, we all know how big the cantaloupe seeds are. Look at that little brown seed right there. Okay? Look at this. Here was one of those Jiffy pellet seeds. It's fully expanded, it's just not soaking wet. It's a little dry. Here's the bottom of the root. The bottom of the root, the bottom of the chippy pellet seed. There's one root, there's room for one, two, three basically. Well, from here down, one, two and a half of these chippy pellet seeds. Now think of where this thing has to grow. I mean, the roots have to grow. Talk about root bound. Man. Now let you see that one more time. Got a bee flying around. Hope he doesn't fly in the house. <laughs> One, two and a half. Dang, that's a yellow jacket. Yeah. Whew. Let's see if I can get him on the camera. Are you camera shy? <laughs> anyway, um, these were available to be planted a long time ago once the roots started growing. But um, we've had wet weather and stuff, and I'm lazy, so this is what I got so far. Also, uh, I'm gonna show you my petunias. Just hold on a second. I, I wasn't planning on showing my petunias, but I'm gonna show them because. I gotta figure out some way to plant. Now these petunias, see the uh, the wetness on top of the plastic there. These are planted the same what that same way, same day as the cantaloupe seeds. They took forever to finally sprout, but. If you've never seen petunia seeds, they're smaller than a flake of pepper from your pepper shaker. Now, if you look at them like this, you probably can't see that they're growing up. Now, they were all black. I'm just now seeing the green that's on here. So I'm going to try to angle this so you can see it now. You see where they're sprouted up a little bit? I'm going to try planting them like that. I'm going to try pulling off one right now. Actually, I'm going to get my... Well, if I get my tweezers, I figure my tweezers I won't be delicate enough. And... Uh, snap it in half before I can even pull it. Ooh, it just came right off. You see that? Got it right by the root. So I'm going to try planting these today, too. Just the ones that'll, that are green-leafed like that. Can you see that? All right. I'll try to put my finger there so I can keep it on the camera properly. It has two green leaves. Now, look over here. Underneath my finger here. So that's a black dot. That's what it looked like when I put them on here. I can't believe these things are growing. Now, I had my Ziploc bag zipped the entire time I did these. And for the first week, um, I left them up high. And I didn't seem to get anywhere with them. So I'm like, well, I'll just set them here by the window. Maybe the sunlight will help it. And that's when I started getting the um, condensation on top of the plastic. So, petunias, multiflora, FL mix, 8 inches apart, 12 inches high germination 10 to 21 days 
Well, that's about right, because <laughs> it took over seven days, that's for sure. Okay, these are my petunias. I'm actually putting them back in the bag. Now, why do I do this method instead of just leaving the, the uh, paper towel uh, in a wet Ziploc bag? I mean, a wet paper towel in a Ziploc bag. Well, look at it. Look how more convenient it is to do this. I'm not ready for all those petunias to be growing. I mean, I can't plant them all today. So I zip it up like that, and there we go. I'm going to have fun trying to plant those cantaloupes. <laughs> okay, this is John in Lawrenceville. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, this is April 15th through April 27th. All these were on a wet paper towel with the seeds laid on top, with compost tea. Basically, I just I put some sod in a trash can and filled it up with water. And after a couple days later, I got some of the water out and poured it on my paper towels instead of having that chlorine-rich tap water. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, I wet the paper towels down and closed up the Ziploc bag with these in there. I wrote my information on this paper towel here, but the, re the reason why um, I did that is because it was difficult to write on the, uh, the styrofoam plate. Plus, I want to reuse these styrofoam plates so I don't have to keep spending more money. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see, I got that open right there. I did that after a week. I just, you know, give it a little bit of air. Yeah, seems to be doing just fine. Hope you enjoyed the video, and talk to y'all later.